Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Perpetual here. If you're new, you're warmly welcome and thank you all so much for joining me today as I make a delicious base stew for my jollof rice. Come along and let's get started. This is the stew that I make in bulk to freeze so that I can have jollof rice for my family whenever we want it. I cannot wait to share it with you. Let's get started by blending some ginger, garlic, and habanero pepper. Just going to give that a quick blend. And I'm going to start as well by chopping up some onions that I'm going to be blending as well. One thing that I love to do when I am cooking in bulk like today is to just make it outside and use a cold pot. It cooks a lot faster it doesn't get super hot in my kitchen, so this is definitely my solution. Next up, I have a bit of tomatoes that have started to get too soft. And since I'm making stew anyway, I'm going to use it up. So I'm just chopping that up as well, and I'll be blending that and setting it aside. All right, so this is my pepper mix. I'm going to set that aside and then blend my onions as well. So another thing that I like to do when I am cooking in bulk is just to blend my ingredients and put it aside so that when I start cooking, it goes a lot faster. So I'm gonna blend my tomatoes as well and set that on the side. And since I'm using it for jollof, I like to blend it until it is nice and smooth. And now that I have a lot of the ingredients prepped, we can go ahead and get started on the stew. And like I said, I'm making it outside on a coal pot. I'm just getting some vegetable oil into a huge pot. And I use a lot of vegetable oil because it helps the stew cook a lot faster. And I am adding some corned beef to my oil and I'm going to fry this for a few minutes to get a lot of the moisture out for today when this stew is done i will definitely be making some jollof rice and so usually when i cook outside i make a whole bunch of meals um the next time that i meal prep fully outside i will be sure to film the whole process so that you can cook along with me i will be sure to share my charcoal grilled chicken as well as my jollof rice recipe with you very soon after a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and add some tomato paste. Now this is the bulk of my stew. I use a lot of tomato paste. I'm using one from a packet today. Of course, you can always make your own as well. And so that goes in and you turn into a stirring machine. You need to stir this until it is nice and mixed into your oil. Now when I'm making this base stew for my jollof rice, I do like to use a lot of tomato paste because one, it cooks a lot faster because it's very concentrated. And because it's so concentrated, you end up getting a lot of rich tomato color from it for when you cook your jollof, as opposed to if you used just fresh tomatoes, it would take a lot longer to cook and the color may not be as rich as at least I like it. And one of the most important steps in this stew is to make sure that you allow the tomato paste to really cook out. So while you're stirring it, it is still cooking and you wanna keep stirring it for quite some time so that it does not burn because it can get quite bitter and sour if you leave it to burn. And once it's nice and mixed, I'm going to cover it and allow it to simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how high your heat is. But in that time, you wanna make sure that you keep coming back to it to stir it so that it does not burn.
and at this point we're going to go in with the fresh tomatoes that have been blended and I'm going to give that a quick stir and cover it up and allow that to cook for about 20 minutes one of the only disadvantages to cooking with a coal pot is the fact that it is a lot more difficult to regulate the temperature like if you wanted lower heat you'd have to literally take the pot off the coal pot remove some of the charcoal off it and then put your pot back on so it just takes a little bit of practice and you just pay more attention to your food while it's cooking next up i have just added my pepper mix which was the ginger garlic and habanero peppers i've just added that into the stew and i'm going to give it a quick stir as well and once that goes in just go ahead and cover it up and allow it to cook for a few more minutes and as you can tell at this point our stew is coming along very nicely the oil has started to set on top of the stew which means that the bulk of the water content in the stew has evaporated so I can go ahead and add my blended onions at this point now one of the other reasons why I like to make my bulk stew outside on a cold pot is the fact that it splatters so much that when you make it inside when you're done you, there is so much to clean but when you make it outside you can just splash the pavement with some water when you're done and you're good to go just out of curiosity for those of you who live in Ghana or in warmer countries let me know in the comment section if you like to cook outdoors or if you're just an indoor kitchen kind of person And now I'm just going to add some spices. I am starting with about a tablespoon of my all-purpose seasoning mix as well as some Maggi tablets and I will also be adding some salt and some curry powder. And before we continue guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button right away and Hit the notification bell as well so that you are among the first to know when I upload more amazing videos. And please be sure to share my videos, my channel with everyone that you know so that we can all grow together. And thank you guys so much for your support so far. Now my all-purpose seasoning mix already has some rosemary in there so I'm not putting any additional but if you absolutely love the smell and the fragrance that rosemary gives then definitely add a little bit more than what I have put in. Now with so much oil in the stew I am going to go ahead and take a ladle and scoop all the excess oil off my stew this oil is perfect for the next time that you're making stew so I usually just stick it in the freezer and use it again because it is so flavorful you have no idea but I do not need this amount of oil in my stew so I'm just getting rid of it now and again like I said I'll just stick it in the freezer until it is time for me to make stew again and then I can use that and once I am done taking out all the excess oil, I can go ahead and portion out my stew and get it into the freezer. I like to portion it out into bowls that will be perfect portions for my family for when I am ready to make my jollof rice. And my loves, that is it. Our base stew for jollof is ready to be served. So if you enjoyed this video, 
please be sure to let me know in the comment section and I will see y'all again very soon. Thank y'all so much for coming along with me on this absolutely delicious journey. Take care guys.